What's going on, Master Duel fans? James Polk here. We got us more fun ideas at the festival for the fairies and fiends, of course. And by the way, just to let everyone know as a uh, PSA, if you happen to hear me with a long pauses, it's because it's the summer season and everyone is getting uh, the heat waves, of course. So make sure, as a pro tip, everybody stay hydrated all day, every day. And looking at this hand, all I can say is we're off to something calm and smooth like no tomorrow. Corolla, to start off, Duck, discard itself for Flower Girl. Revive Duck, Flower Girl, ditch Flower Buds for the Field Spell. Revive Flower Girl, Field Spell. Activate, use the effect. Banish Flower Buds for Vera and two set. Destruction, kill off the Field Spell. Then there's Cursed, Duck, Golden, and Flower Girl. Normal's Billy the Kid. Dispelling for Hugin right where Billy the Kid is. Hugin, discard Desperado, getting Fountain. Now, you all might be wondering, why didn't you fire off Infinite Impermanence in the first place, knowing that the Billy the Kid is there? Okay, so here's my reasoning take behind this. And I'm going to check the extra deck of the Runic Musket player after this. The reason why I did not fire off the Infinite Impermanence is because if I find out that my opponent has Mudcracker in the extra deck, Hugin and Billy the Kid go into Mudcracker. Mudcracker revive Billy the Kid with a discard effect and then Billy the Kid into Max which is the real threat as in do not let Max resolve his effect ever otherwise the game instantly ends that's the reason why I chose not to fire off Imperm Fountain fired off Tip and I believe that was Smiting Storm, and we lost out a uh, Kelbeck. Fountain, tip, dispelling, destruction to get the three. Smiting, Imperm, Golden Sword, Mudora, Duck, Rabbit, Trap Trick, and one set. Normal Protector. Fire off the Imperm. Slumber on Billy the Kid. Imperm of my own on Billy the Kid. Runic Musket saved himself with Last Stand as Chain 4, knowing that Billy, Billy the Kid exists. And as of losing the next three, a uh, Sleeping Bear, a uh, Broken Sword and Flower Girl. Slumber and Smiting Storm. Mind Control. Hugin with Vera. Flashing Fire. Attempt to destroy Vera. Nope. Due to Flower Girl. Switch Vera to attack. Duck Hugin for Phoenix. Using Billy the Kid for Underworld Goddess. And changing seasons, reviving Flower Girl, but Runic Musket Player Scoot. Now, let's see if I was right all along about the Mudcraker scenario. I knew it. I was right all along about the reason why not to fire off Imperm. Hugin, 
Billy the Kid go into Muckraker, Muckraker revive Billy the Kid, and even if my opponent really has something to revive uh, Billy the Kid with the likes of Calamity Jane on a follow-up, um, Billy the Kid go into Max, Max gets major pluses, as in do not resolve Max's effect ever. Otherwise, to stop all of this, in case if my opponent goes into Mudcraker and perm the Mudcraker, just so that Max shouldn't be able to come out all this time. And when it comes to uh, muskets in general by other peoples, no sign of disrespect, but I can't just teach uh, people new tricks up my sleeve. And this next matchup, this hand, weird. We'll, we'll see where this leads. Normal the bear, broken sword on bear, or not the broken sword, cursed sword on the bear, and then golden sword drew into Mudora and rabbit. Mudora, discard rabbit. Set one, link the two for moon. Cursed sword, there's the broken and pass. Feather Duster, Chain Trap Trick, you know? Just be glad I only set one back row. Trap Trick for changing seasons. Now, you all might be wondering why changing seasons in this situation? Only because I want to see it in my graveyard for the sake of soul charging Vernisos. And then there's a uh, more runic action for you guys. Freezing curses. For Hugin is my guess. Oh, Munin. Munin, discard mirror force for the allure. Activates it and two set. Munin, gain a thousand life. Moon, Tribute, Kill the Munin, Set 2, Awakening Force, Summon, Double up the attack, for 18. Royal Decree in 2023? Are you actually kidding me? That is crazy. The case about Royal Decree is, while it's face up, negate all other trap effects on the field. Random fun fact, doesn't stop you from activating trap cards. End phase changing seasons for bear and rabbit. Normal summon bear, bear on sleeping bear, and sleeping bear double itself. And keep this in mind, I always forgot that Sleeping Bear has the lowest attack of the two in terms of original attack. That means all this time that the regular bear should have been at 22 and regular bear would have ended up attacking twice. So let's see if this changes up with the math for you guys. So bear with me here. For some reason, this is not lethal. Unless... 18, 18, 11, 11, and 600. Down to the last 800. And for some reason, this is not lethal. And I think I got just the uh, fairy monster 
That does it all. Th uh, three berries for Trickstar Foxglove Witch. Light Link 3, 2200 attack as a fairy. That requires two or more fairies to make it as a Link 3. If this card is special summon, doesn't matter how it's special summon, not just Link summon, special summon. Burn your opponent 200 for each card they control. So most cases, two, four, six, that's exactly lethal. Wow. Fox Love Beach for game. And last but not least for this match, looking at this hand, I think we got this one on the ropes in terms of the open hand. Duck, discard protector for Vera. Stovey, send or discard the compulse just to set the big welcome. Rabbit, discard Vera. Pick back up Vera, revive Rabbit, tribute the two for Vera and the set of course. Draw face, trap trick for disturbing strategy. On standby, disturbing strategy followed by Vera. Target protector. And the whole hand, with the exception of Big Welcome, gets yeeted. Big Welcome for Lovely, which goes back to hand. Stovey, special Stovey. Discard, lovely, for regular welcome. Set, switch protector to attack. On attack, regular welcome for lovely. Vera, my control lady. Big welcome, compulse, Vera. Stovey to special. And Permon Stovey, just so that lady said something, which happens to be another copy of Disturbing Strategy. Tribute to two for Vera. And pass. On standby, Disturbance and Vera for Protector for the hand loop again. Stovey, discard Ariane to dodge the hand loop. Trap trick as shame for. Banish and set changing seasons this time. Setting regular welcome. And face changing seasons for rabbit. And that does it for you guys. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you haven't already, smash the notification bell to keep yourself constantly updated. And we'll catch you guys next time.